Hi everybody, this is Robbie from Southern California, and yes, I'm whispering. I am sitting and watching my garden on a very cloudy, cool morning. And the only thing I want to point out today is I've had a lot of people tell me that birds don't take baths when it's cold or when it's not sunny outside. As you can see, I'm going to show you. It is cloudy. It is a very cloudy, cool morning. And most of the solar pumps are really not working, but it's amazing how solar works. I don't want to upset the birds because I'm literally sitting mm, 10 feet from them. And solar will work even when there is no sun. Now I'll show you the one on the top. It's literally just, I, I'm gonna call, use the term burping. Let me show you some of the, the fountains I've got here because the one that you're seeing here with the fish and the frogs, that one, that is the only, there's two in my garden that are electric. That's electric. It could easily be converted to solar, but it was one of my first fountains, so it's, that's just the way it is. Oh, I see bush tits coming in right now. I have been sitting here this morning having a cup of coffee, watching hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of birds come in. And I thought, you know, I might put up a really quick video for just a few of you that said, oh, there's no reason to put a, any type of bird bath out in the winter. Absolutely, they take a bath. They take a bath, no matter how cold it is, they're gonna take a bath. It may take them a little longer to dry off, but birds' feathers are amazing. Their feathers basically have like an oil. I'm not gonna get into details. So when they get wet, they literally dry fairly quick. They know how to dry themselves. So even though it's cool outside, they can dry themselves. So if you've got a garden and you're not totally under snow, I would definitely say if you've got birds, see I feed the birds as you can see, and I'm gonna clean this up. I'm looking at it today through the camera thinking, gee, I could do a better job. And some of those are just stuck there because I have little prototypes like this little bird feeder that I literally just put out minutes ago who's already got a bird feeding in it. We'll get into that another time on another video. Oh, now they're going to fight over the bird feeder. I promise I'll get that up very quickly. But just sitting out here looking, I have got goldfinches. I've got white crowned sparrows. They're sitting in the bowl there. I've got a songbird that is in the white bowl and then the white crowns, well, they just moved. They were there, they're kind of quarreling, not quarreling, eh, just kind of like it's my spot now with the house finches. The bird bath has got gold finches in it, lesser gold finches. And the, oh, and there, there still is a little um, bush tit. He's sitting there too. And I've had the yellow rump warblers, and then of course the hummingbirds have been coming. And this is all in one little, what, six foot section? Look how small this is. This is a very small little section of my garden. But all I wanted to point out was look at them. This has been going on for hours. Oh my goodness, I just saw, I think, a wren. Oh, he disappeared that quick. And I had a woodpecker here just minutes ago, too, just sitting here watching me, and I was watching him. But see, they need water just like us, even on cold days. They take a bath, just like we take a bath or a shower on cold days, they take a bath. They don't probably feel the cold in the same way that we do, it's different to them. The most important thing to all creatures, everybody, is water and food. And then of course shelter. But they do still need water and they do come in and take a drink all the time. And then the other thing, of course, is they do need to take a bath. Regardless, you think they don't need to, they still get dirty. Oh, see, there's a yellow rump warbler and a beautiful red house finch just took off. That was a male. They come in all day. This is going on all day. Now, certain times of day, this is in the morning. You know, they come in and take a drink and take their baths to start their morning off. They've been sitting and they got dusty in the trees or whatever, pollen on them, whatever. They want to start their day off with a bath. There's a little tiny, let me see if I can zoom in. 
That's that's a little wren. No, the wren, okay, I'm sorry, the wren left already. Those are bush tits in there. Oh, and here comes the scrunchie. Look, let's be quiet. They're very sensitive. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? So you're watching this with me, and there's like a dozen different types of birds here. They just keep coming and coming. I'm sitting on the inside here, right by the door, by, by my door, and just filming them. They see me, and they see me, they hear me. That's why I don't want to talk that loud. And I'm just amazed. I've got towies, both types. I've got uh, wrens coming around. I've got bush tits. I've got yellow rumped warblers. I've got house finches. Um, I've got white crowned sparrows. I can't even name them all. They just keep coming and coming. But what I wanted to share today, just for a few moments, is water's important no matter, and I've got Gary working in the other room. That's what you hear the banging. He's working on his indoor garden. Um, I've got all these birds coming on a cool morning, cloudy, and they're still coming. And isn't that amazing? It is cloudy, and some of these solar fountains are still working. Some are better than others, you know, and they all are different. It depends on just the amount of rays they get from the sun, even through the clouds. They're starting to run a little bit more now, so we're, the cloud cover must be light. Oh, hear that? That's the spotted toe. That's a toe. They have a beautiful song. Oh, I feel honored when they sing. Their song is beautiful. Beautiful song. Then you've got, oh, I love the toys. And then, of course, you've got the goldfinches singing. And the only ones I haven't seen come in yet are the spice finches, but they'll be here soon. But I wanted to share that with you this morning. What a beautiful morning. I am honored that I can come out into the garden. And these guys will come out hearing me. There's a yellow rump. Let's see if we can see the yellow rump. That's a yellow rump warbler. Probably a young one. The males are more brightly colored, but they do change their color pattern for the fall and winter. So they're brighter when, during breeding season. And probably, if you think about it, their color, that's a goldfinch singing now, their color pattern will change. So they blend in more with the fall color, so they don't stand out as much. During breeding season, they get brighter, so they can be flashy for the girls. And of course, they fend off other males by saying, I'm here, you see me, go away. So it becomes a little territorial. A lot of birds do that. But that's it. Wanted to share with you, if you've, if you've got a garden, if you feed birds all spring and summer, there's no reason not to feed them. If you've got them in your area, no matter what birds, all through the fall and winter, and keep out some water for them to drink. It doesn't have to be running water. Yesterday for fun, I shut all the fountains off, the electric ones, and I couldn't believe the yellow rumps came running in. They're running. They came flying in and they all took baths. Like, oh, we don't have to bother with splashing water. So sometimes just a bowl of water with some rocks in it. You want rocks just so they get a good footing, something that they can grip onto with their sharp nails. And as long as they have something, that's all they need. And I did put rocks in the one up there. Let me show you my solar fountain. And now the sun is starting to come through the clouds. I put this one up three months ago. You've probably seen the video. I'll put the link. In the beginning, only a few birds used it. Now, yesterday, in the afternoon, it was like a freeway. They just kept coming and coming and coming. It was nonstop. Now, see? Now it's kind of like it. the birds have backed off. There's not that many. And that's it. They come in waves. See? There's another. That's a yellow rump warbler. He just jumped down. I guess he's going to go to the main fountain. No, oh, we've got a white crown in there. An adult white crown. I don't know where he went. The yellow rump. But they come all day. And they go to that one. And then I've got the wren tits. They take a bath in there. Let's see what that is. Oh, he did go to the fountain instead. 
See his coloring? It's probably a male. He's brightly colored. Aren't they beautiful? If he'd open his wings, you would see it. See? You got to see his yellow rump. Aren't they beautiful? I I'm just amazed. We've caught hundreds of them all day. And I don't have to feed those. They don't eat seeds. They come and eat the insects. They're eating... Oh, look at that's the second one coming. Hmm, we decided, decided to use the fountain today. Usually they use the rock one. But they come in and they'll eat any little insects all over my plants. I went out on the uh, collard and I saw there was insects on there. And I decided not to hose it off because I've been watching them all come in and feed off of it. So I decided just leave it. They'll, they'll go in there and do their thing. So they'll remove all the little insects. Let's see what we've got here. We've, yeah, these are all, these are all yellow rump warblers. Yep, a whole group of them is coming in. And they decided to use this fountain instead. Now they're a little bit more on the shy side. And they know I'm sitting here. And there's one in the tree. But, you know, it's okay. As long as I talk low, they won't get all upset. But this is a little section of my garden that I like putting fountains. I got fountains all over. I, I've got the electric one, and then I've got a few solar ones here. And I put my little prototype things out that I work on. And these are solar panel holders, and I'm kind of cleaning this up. I was making them out of foam, and I changed my mind. I'm going to the plastic containers. And I actually like the brown better. See, when, you, when you've got the brown... Gary's working on a door. Um, the brown kind of disappears. That's what I like. So I'm going to move a lot of these. They're not going to stay there. Like I said, I've got prototypes. And then that's a prototype. I make myself prototypes and look at them. And that's a feeder. And that has been fantastic. I made that yesterday and put it out to this morning. That up there. I didn't even using it the moment I stuck it out there. Again, I wanted to go back to fountains. How important it is to keep water out for these guys. Water is important, and they do need to take baths. So if they don't take a bath where you've got a garden, they'll find someplace else. Look at this. Oh, look. Oh, I can't get to see Hummingbird do something. Okay, I don't know where he went. No, he was just checking out the other birds. He might have gone to a different fountain. Hummingbirds do like different fountains. Now, they will take a bath in that one that you see, but they do prefer something that they can lay on because they really like to scrub. They will take a bath in there, but they're really scrubbers. So that's it. I stopped for a minute because I think I saw a bird I have not seen before. And that's the problem. There's so many birds here, and they come and go so fast. And there's been a few I have never seen before. I'm going to try to put a video together on all the birds that have been here. I was so happy I had my camera. We have a lot of birds that come through here just because they're flying by. And then they see and hear the other birds, so they stop by. But I thought I saw something I have not seen before. So now I'm going to have to really sit here and watch and wait. Because they may not come back or maybe... Maybe another time. But that's it. So, again, solar will work even on a cloudy day as long as there's some sun coming through the clouds. And I do have videos up on other ways to have moving water if you want, which is using a... It's like a solar pump, but it's not solar. It uses a battery bank that you would use for your phone, and that's been fantastic. I love those. I've been using that, too. So we can get more into that in the spring. But isn't this amazing? They just keep coming and coming. And this is what's really difficult to get something done. I have so much to do, and I come out here, and it's... It's almost addicting. It's like, I can't move, because what if something else comes in I've never seen before? And that's why it's so hard to get up and move. I want to go do something. I've got stuff. i got to get to work. Oh, my gosh. Right now in front of me. Let me see. I wish you could see it. I have got a songbird, house finches, white crowns. I already went through them. All kinds of goldfinches. Oh, my gosh. 
But I thought I saw something else. We'll have to see. That's a goldfinch. Young. Oh, look at the tree in the back. I don't know if you can see that. The tree is full of birds. Now, some of them hear me and, you know, they're more private. And that's why you don't get to see everything. Because some of the ones that are more shy will wait until I leave. They'll hang out in the trees and you can't see them. And then they'll come another time. But that was it. I already made this too long. I literally wanted to make this for five minutes and it went way too long. So with that, I wanted to spread the joy a little bit, share this with you, and I am going to have to get up and get stuff done. Isn't this terrible? I don't want to leave. There is nothing cuter. I don't want to talk loud because the camera's up against my face and then I'll be screaming in your ear and I don't want to do that. There is nothing cuter than watching them take a bath. And the goldfinches? I've had like a dozen of them in that one. Some sit on the top of the fish. And this is tiered. We're going to have to make in the spring a bunch of tiered ones. I'll show you how to do that. It's so fun. But they, they just go on all levels. Now I hear another bird. I'm not sure what bird that is. I hear them, but I don't see them. I'm so sorry if I wasted anybody's time here. Like I said, I get... Wait a minute. No, I don't know what that is. My camera's going out of focus. Don't do this to me. Okay. Look at all the birds. Isn't that amazing? I've done a video on the seed I use, and I use pet food grade seed. And that's, I go to the pet store, we buy in bulk, but you can go to the pet store and buy a parakeet mix and a small sunflower. That's all you need. A good parakeet mix. And they love it. And once you put that out, you'll be cursing me because you'll be having to go buy it all the time because they'll be coming to your bowls and they'll be screaming. This is no joke. They come to the kitchen window and they scream when their bowls are empty. I know when the Scrub Jays don't have their food in there. I know when the house finches don't have, they sit there and they scream. Now, the gold finches, they do not eat any of this seed. Some people told me they do, but mine are eating out of the garden. They prefer the garden over the seed. So I'll warn you, and this will be a big warning, that if you go to the pet store and buy a parakeet mix, which is basically millet and canary seed and some whole oats, and then if you add in some sunflower, those bowls are going to empty so fast, you're going to have so many birds in your garden, you're not even going to know what to do. Then you're going to be contacting me saying, why did you do this to me? Why did you make me buy this? Now I have to keep buying this and I have got all these birds all over. Well, this is a warning that once you put that out and you add water in your garden, you're going to have a yard full of birds. You know what? That's okay. So it cost me to pay, I should say, I have to pay them to stay here and keep my garden clean. You know what? That makes it organic and it works for me. So with that, have a great day. And don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye.